Hey there, Sharon Nelson here. Welcome to day 1,778 of What You Up To Now, documenting the journey as I transitioned originally in 2017 from the brick and mortar corporate world of businesses, and I mean lots of businesses, lots of different industries, to the online world of business. And I like to hop on, since I'm visually challenged, I like to hop on and share just in a quick video summary format what I'm working on, what some of my lessons learned are, what's worked, what's not, what's working today, and what's not. Uh, because like anything else in any one of our lives, as well as our businesses, sometimes things work for us, sometimes they don't. So doing an annual challenge this year, it's called the BU 365 Day Challenge, to do one thing every day that improves us. Why? Because we actually have control over ourselves and our person. We are the only one that can control us and take our personal freedom and create what we want with our life. Nobody can do it for us. We talked about that a couple of days ago. We have to choose to do it. And part of that leads into today's No Nonsense November Day 26, which is you get what you expect. And I shared a couple of stories about how that's played off in my life. And I shared nine different ways and tips to focus on your expectations, not the expectations of others. I think all of us have experiences where we have done what we think is expected of us, but it didn't feel right for us or done what we thought was expected of us and just got freaked out and stressed out because we were trying to be ourselves on one hand and please everybody else on the other hand. People pleasing, comparing ourselves to others is usually never what we expect of ourselves, right? I don't expect myself to compare myself to other people in any area or aspect of my life, but we, we naturally do it. As humans, I think we need to measure things and we need to see, well, how do I measure up when it comes to income? How do I measure up when it comes to successful businesses? How do I measure up when it comes to relationships? And we just, we do that. It's inherent in our nature, but we want to check ourselves. And that's what the tips are about so that we're not spending too much time doing that. Then for supersize your business, primarily for female entrepreneurs, but for business owners in all areas, I shared the idiom, uh, and I'm going to look again because I already forgot it. Uh, live up to or measure up to expectations. Now, again, that can be someone else's expectations or your own. So I shared some tips to let go of other people's expectations and make sure as you're building and growing and supersizing your business, you are building on your own expectations and bringing other people along with you because we want to create our own brands and culture and uh thing that we're trying to create with our business in the world. So we talked about that and I shared four different ways and tips for doing that. I like sharing tips and strategies and lists of things in my content. And I've noticed that when I do that, my videos get longer and things flow better because I don't want to just be sharing my personal experiences because how I've learned as I've grown and, and gotten older is by learning from other people's experiences, especially learning from other people's mistakes guess what? I still made some of them myself and I still continue to come up with different mistakes and challenges that are, I guess, unique and special to me. But if I can learn from somebody else's mistake or if I can help you or anyone else by preventing you from making one mistake, then I feel like it's worthwhile. So that's it. I'm traveling probably for another few weeks. So I'll have different backgrounds, different craziness. The sun's kind of gotten weird as I've uh, been slow to record this morning, but it is what it is. It's actually a picture of my aunt Sharon painted of our yard when we were growing up. A couple of us girls were playing in the snow and building a snowman and she captured that and painted a beautiful picture of it. And I think that's actually just a print. It's not the original, but my mom does some, have some of her original paintings. So I will try to share those in the background because I absolutely love them. I expect that I will have different fun backgrounds for the next couple of weeks. And then when I get home, guess what? I'm going to make a new background because mine has been horrible. And I know it, but it's one of those things I, I just haven't made it a priority to change. All right, if I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow. Have a fabulous day.